What? This is outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. A mom dragged out of the Volusia County School Board meeting for not wearing a mask. Just minutes later, the school board voted to extend the mask policy for students. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Luann Sorrell. I'm Charles Belay. Fox 35 Samantha Sosa is in Volusia County with more on the drama at the school board meeting. The school district telling me that several people were issued trespass violations. The women involved telling me as many as 25 people gathered here to rally against extending the mask policy that the school board passed today. What? This is outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is Rachel Cohen, police dragging her out of a Volusia County School Board meeting for refusing to wear a mask. When you go inside without a mask on. And they slammed the door in my face and I tried to open it again and then, then Tia came out and they were shoving her out the door and it was like, where do we live right now? Is this 2020 America? Because it feels like 1930s Germany right now. She came to make a public comment against the school district's mask policy. Eight other unmasked moms in the meeting room to do the same. It's a public location. We are taxpayers. This is a taxpayer building. You know, this is a place that we have a right to be. It's more to the story because they were asked on numerous occasions to just exit. Ida Wright, chair of the school board, telling me the group got disruptive and that's when police were called. This is America, 2020. These moms say there should not be a mask mandate for school kids because the state and Volusia County don't have mask mandates. The parents have the sovereign right um, to their children and making health care choices for their children. Um, the children also have a right and responsibility to go to their public school. Um, and this is a gross overreach of, of their power. This is America. We want them to be engaged in the process. We want them to be engaged in their children learning. But there are policies and procedures. And the policies are set forth not to just protect them, but everyone involved. The incident caused the school board meeting to be delayed for over an hour. Now these moms are calling on Governor Ron DeSantis to get involved in this issue. In Deland tonight, Samantha Sosa, Fox 35 News. The Seminole